Hey guys, my name is Julia, and I'm going to be going to read How Many Days to America by Evie Bunting and illustrated by Beth Peck. Um, I think that uh, first graders to third graders would really enjoy this story. It's um, a story that is based around Thanksgiving time, um, a family who is pushed out of their homes and has to leave for America. And it's, just, it's a short story about them um, on a boat on their way to America. Um, and I think um, it's a great book to read around Thanksgiving because um, it teaches kids that not everyone had a great time around Thanksgiving. For example, they had to leave their homes. Um, so here we go. It was nice in our village till the night in October when the soldiers came. My mother hid my little sister and me under the bed. When I peered out, I could see my mother's feet and their black slippers and the great muddy boots of the soldier. When they were gone, my father said, we must leave right now. Why? I asked. Because we do not think the way they think, my son. Hurry! He would not let us take anything but a change of clothes. My, mother's, my mother cried. Leave all my things, my chair where I sat to nurse our children, the bed cover that my mother made, every stitch by hand. Nothing, my father said, just money to buy our way to America. The word America was not new to me. I heard it whispered between my parents and the, and the rest, restless hours of the night. America, were we going to live there? Others, too, moved silently along the streets. Boats bobbed in the dark water of the quay, and men talked behind their hands while gold passed from one pocket to another. I must have your wedding ring, my father told my mother, and your garnets. My mother took the ring from her finger and the garnet necklace from its little bag, very deep in her bundle. She did not speak. My father said we would leave while it was still dark. How many days to America? my little sister asked. Not many, my father said. Don't be afraid. The fishing boat was small, and there were many people. More kept coming, and more. We chucked heavily from harbor to the open ocean. Can we see America yet, Papa? All the time, my little sister asked questions. Not yet, my father said. We were an hour from shore when the motor stopped. The men crowded the engines. A part is broken that cannot be fixed, my father told my mother, and her face twisted the way it did when she closed the door from her home for the last time. The women made a sail by knotting cloths together, and when they pulled it high, my father's Sunday shirt blowing in the wind. But the sail carried us back toward our own shore, and men shot at us from the cliffs. At least we got the boat turned around in the right direction. How many days to America now? My little sister asked. M more, my small one. My father said as he held close held us close. I saw him look at my mother across our heads. Day followed night, and night day. Our food and water ran out, and many people were sick. At sunset, my father and my mother and sister and I huddled in a bow. When my father sang as he sang at home, sleep and dream, tomorrow comes, and we shall be all be free. That was the only time I was not afraid. By day we fished and shared our catch. When it rained, we caught the water in our buckets. I slept and dreamed of home, of food, of my favorite uncle who worked with my father in his shop and who had stayed behind. Sometimes I cried and then my mother would rock me against her. We saw a, a whale, gray as an elephant, covered with barnacles. Come push us, whale, my mother called. Push us to America. But the whale did not hear. Once a boat came roaring, a close, roaring close on the wings of foam, and we were filled with joy, but not for long. Thieves! Fear, fear moved like bad wind between us. Men scrambled from the other boat to ours, waving their guns, shouting for money and jewels. There was little to take, but what we had went with them. Once, there was a shout of, Land! And we crowded the railing. But though 
We pulled on our sailboat, when, but we pulled our sailboat would not go closer. We will swim for help, my father said, and he and two others jumped into the water. No, my mother cried, but they were already gone. When at last we saw them rise on the green roll of the surf, we we saw them carried to shore. We danced and cheered, but there were soldiers on the rocks. Everyone was quiet, and my mother gripped my hand. They're bringing them back, she whispered. Three soldiers with rifles came too in the small boat. They brought us water and fruit, but they did not speak or smile. They tossed it onto our waiting hands. Was it not the right land, Papa? I asked as the soldiers pulled away. Will it not do? It would do, but they will not take us. They will not take us, my father said. My sister tugged at his arm. They don't like us? It's not that. He did not explain what it was. Our family got two papayas and three lemons and a coconut with milk that tasted like flowers. The sea was rough, and that night my father's song lost itself in the wind. I said the words as the stars dipped and turned above our heads. Tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes, and we shall all be free. It was the next day, the tomorrow, that we sighted the land. I was afraid to hope. A boat came. My mother clasped her hand and bent on, bent on her, bent her head. Was she afraid to hope too? The boat circled us twice, and then a line was thrown, and we were pulled to shore. There was such a silence among us, then such an anxious, watchful silence. People waited on the dock. Welcome, they called. Welcome to America. That was when our silence turned to cheers. But how did they know we would come today, my father asked. Perhaps people come every day, my mother said. Perhaps they know how it, perhaps they understand how it is. There was a shed, warm from the sun on its tin roof. There were tables covered with food. Though the benches were crowded, there was enough room for all of us. Do you know what today, th today is? A woman asked me. She passed me a dinner plate. It is the coming to America day, I said. She smiled. Yes, and it's special for another reason, too. Today is Thanksgiving. What is that? My little sister was shy, but not too shy to ask questions. Long ago, unhappy people came here to start new lives, the woman said. They celebrated by giving thanks. My father nodded. That is the only true way to celebrate. Thank you.